Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss how to create a door tag or a window tag that will automatically create a window or a door schedule at the end. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we begin, I'd like to point out that this function is only applicable if you're working with AutoCAD architecture. This is not for you if you are using a plain AutoCAD version that is not an architectural version. This method will allow you to quickly create a door or window tag with a few clicks. In addition, you can create a door or window schedule automatically in a matter of seconds. As a result, you can increase your speed in AutoCAD. Not only that, but this door or window schedule is a one-of-a-kind table that will automatically update itself whenever your doors or windows are changed. If it did not automatically update, there is a button to manually update what happened to your model. Now, I'll show you how to do it quickly. Assume we haven't yet assigned any tags to this door. The first thing we need to do is attach a tag to this door. Please keep in mind that whatever procedure I use on this door may also apply to windows. What we need to do now is pick a door. Once we've chosen this door, more options will appear above your AutoCAD window. If you do not select this door, this option will never appear. While the door is selected, we can search for something that says, Tag. Click on it and choose the door we want to tag. After that, we only need to click once more to select the position of our tag. This dialog box will then appear, and we must assign a door number. When you're finished, just click OK. Don't be concerned if you find this tag to be too large. We can easily change the size of these tags. Simply click it and press Ctrl plus 1. Properties will appear. Change the scale to the desired size. I'm going to use 0.5 in this video. You can also manually change the position of this tag. The next stage is to create the style of this door. If we want, this style will appear in this table like this. Of course, you can customize your own table based on your preferences, and I'll show you how later. However, at this time, we must create a new style for our door because by default, the standard style is the only style available in this AutoCAD. To do so, you must first choose a door. There is an option to edit style at the top of your window. You can use this option to modify some existing door styles. We will select copy style because we want to create a new style. This allows you to create a new style while maintaining the properties of the existing door style. This dialog box will appear after you click that option. This dialog box contains numerous options, such as design rules, dimensions, and display options. Under the design rule, you have the option of selecting a double panel, an uneven panel, or a single panel. However, what we require today is found under the general tab. We need to change the name of this door based on the style that we require. Assume we want to indicate that this is a French door. What we need to do is change the name to French door. After that press OK. You can now assign French door as style of this door. Just select this door and go to properties and change the style to French door. Let's proceed on our door schedule. We can access this door schedule on annotate tab. And then, click door schedule and select all doors we want to include in the door schedule. Now we'll look at how to change the look of this table. Because this is a brief video, I will only demonstrate how to change its properties once. The majority of the process for changing the content of this table is nearly identical to what I will demonstrate today. This table did not appear to be like this at first. However, we can change everything by selecting this table, right-clicking it, and selecting the Edit Schedule Table Style. We can navigate to the column tab to see a preview of its content. We also have the option of removing or adding columns. If we want to delete a column, we simply select the column and press the delete button. We have the option of adding a new column as well. 
To add a column, we simply need to press the Add button. When we press the Add button, plenty of options will appear in this dialog box. Because we want to show the style of this store to this table, we will choose Style from the menu. As we can see, the Style column will be added to our column automatically. This Style column represents the name of our previously created door while we create a new door style. We can also rearrange the position of these columns. Each column's position can be changed by dragging it. Once we're happy with our settings, we can add this table to our tool palette so that whenever we need a table like this, we can just go to our palette and click this table. Simply save your file, then select this table and drag it to your tool palette. Now let us see if it works properly. Let's remove this existing table and try clicking this tool palette. As we can see, it is effective. So the next step is to choose an object to include in our table. Simply select all of your drawings to select all of the doors. You do not need to be concerned at this time, even if you have chosen objects that are not doors. This procedure will only choose the doors in your model. Then, simply click somewhere and press enter a few times. After that, the table should appear. Now, let us try to change the style of this door and see if the content changes as well. It is a success if it changes. It did not change instantly, as we can see, but by clicking this table and pressing the update button, it will change automatically. That's all for today and I hope you liked and enjoyed this video, see you on my next video.